Welcome, pilots! This video is part of my guide detailing every high security combat site. In most of these videos, you'll see me flying an assault frigate called the Ishgur. This ship is quite well suited for the desolate site, and its escalation, Mare Sargassum. Combat signatures appear in your probe scanner window, and you must scan them down with probes before you can warp to them. Some combat signatures do not have a DED difficulty rating, and instead have a chance of escalating to a short story-based expedition. The Desolate Site is a combat signature found in all systems with a security status of 0.8 and lower all throughout New Eden. This site has a guaranteed faction spawn, and has a decent potential for an escalation, either of which may lead to high-value loot drops. Only up to cruiser-class ships are allowed into the site, including strategic cruisers. You will land directly on an acceleration gate, which you must activate to enter the site. Once inside, you'll land in front of several snake-shaped asteroids. The area is initially guarded by two separate groups of rogue drones. The first group hovers around some nearby walkway debris, consisting of five light or frigate-sized drone harvesters. The second group is a ways away near a warning sign, consisting of five frigate-sized drones. The one with very sharp edges. An optional timed group may spawn near the landing beacon, consisting of up to four more frigate or destroyer-sized drones. You can actually ignore most of the NPCs and focus solely on the group near the warning sign. Destroying this group will spawn a new group, consisting of up to seven frigate or destroyer-sized drones. Destroying this new group will spawn the Commander Wave, consisting of up to eight more frigate or destroyer-sized drones. One of the frigates will be identified as Sentient. The Sentient Drone NPC will always drop a bundle of basic drone materials, which can be used to manufacture special faction drones. If you're even more lucky, it may also drop a Sentient Faction Module, or a Rogue Drone 46X Nexus Chip. This type of Nexus chip can be exchanged for a blueprint copy for an Astero through the Sisters of Eve Loyalty Point store. At the same time the Commander Wave spawns, you also have a chance the site will escalate to the Mare Sargassum expedition. At first it seems strange the drones have picked this barren and resource-deficient place to build a new hive. But then again, while you were blowing up the place, you noticed a few vessels that might have been used as transports, indicating the drones were pulling in the materials they needed from someplace else. As if to compliment you on your reasoning, your communication systems start indicating several different incoming transmissions in drone beeps and clicks. And after a while, you manage to coerce your instruments into pointing out an approximate spatial origin of the message. Escalations will appear on the Exploration tab of the Agency window. In the first encounter of the Mare Sargassum Expedition, an opening message will appear. Heuristic analysis of this location indicates that attacking the trash construction would greatly improve your odds of uncovering further illicit activity. You'll land next to a debris field surrounding a trash construction structure. The area will be guarded by up to seven frigate-sized drones, including several strain drones. A sentient drone NPC will be among them. The opening message is misleading, as destroying the sentient NPCs what has a chance that the escalation will continue to the second encounter of the expedition. Most of the drones have been obliterated, but a few made it away. Luckily, the average drone operates in part like a jukebox trying to play all its tracks repeatedly at the same time over the airwaves, relying on other drones to filter out the information they need and disregard the rest. Therefore, they are usually easy to find while within reasonable range, and this time is no different. Your instruments concentrate on messages from one of the escaped drones, and after having filtered through several thousand repetitions of electrical manuals for every hydraulic system built the last 300 years this side of the Meridian Strip, the entire known literature on the theory of relativity recited three times, and for some obscure reason, a text on the effect of oriental gardening on the human condition played simultaneously on four parallel channels, they finally come across a new location. If you stick around for the fight, destroying all NPCs in the area will spawn a new group of up to four frigate-sized drones. Approaching the trash construction spawns an additional wave of up to eight more frigate or destroyer-sized drones. In the second encounter of the expedition, you'll land in a clouded area next to two abandoned drills. Each abandoned drill is guarded by a group of frigate and destroyer-sized drones, totaling up to 17 NPCs. 
a sentient drone NPC will be among them. Destroying the sentient drone NPC will spawn an additional group of up to four frigate-sized drones, and has a chance of escalating to the third encounter of the expedition. The current strategy chosen by the drones seems to be running away as fast as they can. Your instruments have no problems tracking their destination. In the third encounter of the expedition, you'll land near a block of drone bunkers surrounded by rocks. The area is guarded by a group of up to eight frigate and destroyer-sized drones, including several strain drones. A sentient drone NPC will again be among them. Destroying the sentient drone NPC will have a chance of escalating to the fourth and final encounter of the expedition. You notice that all of these cans bear the markings of the same space station. After checking in your databanks, you find that this particular station was destroyed decades ago and has remained deserted ever since. You retrieve the location. Roughly a minute after landing, an additional group of up to eight more frigate or destroyer-sized drones will spawn. In the fourth and final encounter of the Mir Sargassum expedition, you'll land near a pair of depleted station batteries surrounded by several debris fields. The topmost debris field is guarded by a group of five frigate-sized drones, including several strain drones. A series of containers labeled drone holds are scattered amongst the other two debris fields. Approaching any of the drone hold containers prompts the closing message of the expedition. As expected, the drones were busy turning this old station into a hive, which if they had succeeded would no doubt be spewing out innumerable copies of their kind to haunt this part of the constellation for years to come. You wonder if sentient machines can dream. If so, then this one is at least permanently broken. Approaching the final few drone holds spawns an additional group of up to seven frigate or destroyer-sized drones. Destroying any one of this reinforcement wave spawns the rogue mining overseer in a cruiser-sized drone. Destroying the entire reinforcement wave spawns yet another group of five more frigate or destroyer-sized drones. The final drone hold will not be accessible while the overseer remains, and will always drop a bundle of alloys. The Overseer will always drop a bundle of Tech 2 salvage materials. It may be possible it can also drop a sentient faction module. You'll have to decide for yourself whether it's worth risking travel through low security space to run the final encounter. You won't be behind an acceleration gate, and you'll have to deal with the strain drones potentially webifying or warp disrupting you. Unless you're alone in the system, you'll want to keep a close eye on your directional scanner. A ship like the Ishkar, fit with railguns, will run the desolate site in just over four minutes, when ignoring the NPCs that are unnecessary to complete the site. Tactical destroyers, or faction cruisers like the Orthrus or Gila, are also good choices for this site. Younger pilots flying frigates or destroyers will need to be careful here, as the presence of destroyer drones packs a lot of incoming damage. While recording the footage for this video series, I kept track of the statistics for 25 desolate sites. Over this period, three of the sentient NPCs dropped something beyond a bundle of basic drone materials. All three happened to be a rogue drone 46X Nexus chip. Nine of the sites escalated to the Mare Sargassum Expedition. The Mare Sargassum Expedition can escalate up to four times, and every encounter is guaranteed to have a sentient NPC. Through my nine escalations, I had a total of 15 encounters. Though in one case, I did not continue to the finale due to its location in low security space. Only one of the sentient NPCs dropped something beyond the bundle of basic drone materials, again a rogue drone 46X Nexus chip. The one escalation that I did run through to the final encounter only dropped Tech 2 salvage materials and a bundle of alloys. Throughout high security space, you can also probe down other unrated sites like the Haunted Yard or Chemical Yard. Depending on where you find yourself in high security space, my past work includes a complete set of combat site video guides for all pirate factions. You can check out any of those videos on my channel right now. If you're curious about fitting assault frigates for combat site exploration, you can check out the gaming section of my website over at RyanTheEntertainment.com. Stay tuned to Riley Entertainment for more EVE Online combat site guides, and smash that like button if you enjoy my content.